Rotational atherectomy was first developed in the late 1980s by Heart Technology Incorporated, a U.S. meme-based company in Washington State, and later acquired by Boston Scientific. The rotablator system became the first FDA-approved device in 1993 and remains the foundation for modern rotational atherectomy platforms used today. These devices are specifically designed to treat severely calcified coronary artery lesions, which are present in about 30% of all percutaneous coronary interventions and more than half of cases in elderly patients. When calcium hardens inside the arterial wall, standard balloons and stents may fail to expand properly. This can lead to complications like stent underexpansion, restenosis, or even procedural failure. Rotational atherectomy provides a way to prepare these rigid vessels before stenting. The device works using a small burr, coated with industrial-grade diamond particles, that rotates at speeds between 140,000 and 200,000 revolutions per minute. At these speeds, the burr pulverizes calcified plaque into particles smaller than 5 microns, small enough to pass harmlessly through the microcirculation. The burr selectively targets the hard calcium while sparing softer tissue, restoring vessel compliance and allowing safe stent deployment. The system itself is composed of three major parts, a guiding catheter and specialized guide wire to safely advance into the artery, a drive shaft that transmits torque, and the burr at the working end. Burrs range in size from 1.25 to 2.5 millimeters, and operators often start with a smaller burr and step up as needed. Clinical data confirm its value. In the Rotaxis trial, Pre-treatment with rotational atherectomy before drug-eluting stent placement resulted in significantly better stent expansion compared to balloon angioplasty alone. Large registries report procedural success rates consistently above 95% when used in appropriate patients. Risks do exist. Slow flow or no reflow phenomena occur in about 5% of cases, vessel perforation in 1 to 2%, and transient arrhythmias are relatively common but usually self-limiting. Despite these risks, procedure-related mortality remains low, under 1% in experienced centers. Modern refinements have made the technique safer and more efficient. Advances include hydrophilic-coated wires for smoother navigation, improved burr design, and consoles that allow lower-speed ablation, often referred to as rotolation. These refinements reduce vessel trauma while maintaining the ability to effectively modify heavily calcified lesions. Rotational atherectomy continues to play a critical role in interventional cardiology. With high procedural success rates, it ensures optimal stent deployment in some of the most challenging anatomies. For patients with heavily calcified lesions, it can mean the difference between a failed procedure and a life-saving revascularization.